Do I have something on my face? I'm grown. I'm the daddy. Hey. I'll go bust now. Some baked chicken today. Y'all you know y'all need to get on that baked chicken. Stop eating all that fried stuff. <laughs> Welcome back, gang, to Harpo Gang's kitchen. Y'all already know we're about to bust it down. Um, tonight, we decided we want to try something different. So, y'all know we fry stuff. We, we we know how to bust it down, southern style. But today, we're going to go a little bit on the lighter side. We're going to bake. We're going to put these in the oven. So, I'm trying something new. Um, I've seen a recipe for some honey mustard chicken. I'm going to put my little twist on it. Um, so, we're going to do some sesame honey mustard or honey mustard sesame I don't know, I'll figure it out. Honey mustard sesame chicken, baked chicken with green beans and roasted potatoes on the side. So, and then we're going to make some lumpia. That's going to be a separate video, but I'm going to show you how we make lumpia as well. Because since being out here in Hawaii, I learned a couple things or whatever. Okay. All right. So anyways, um, I'm wearing gloves today because first of all, I need a manicure and they're just not looking all that great. Okay. Y'all like how I be using y'all can see everything I'm doing. So what you're going to need for this recipe are chicken legs or so I'm using leg quarters. You can use legs, thighs, whatever, just some chicken, okay? We're using green beans. I did put some scallions in my green beans or green onions. So I'm gonna do green beans and scallions or scallion green beans. And then of course some little baby potatoes. So I got little baby ones. Um some of them are a little bit bigger, so I cut them up. So I'm gonna coat them in some olive oil. I chose the pasta olive oil because it already is infused with garlic and basil. Um, so it just gives it that much more flavor. And then we're going to use some chives, dried chives, and herbs of province, um, which is basically Italian seasoning. Same thing. Um, then we're going to toss those, put those in the oven. The green beans, I'm just going to, you know, throw a little bit of this, the blend. So I use this now, salt, pepper, garlic. That's pretty much all it is. You know, kinders, they've been popping up. So... I'm gonna just put some of this on those, um, maybe a little bit of brown sugar, just a little bit to balance that out. And then I'm also gonna use this to season the chicken. So right now I have them coated with onion powder. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder on there and then hit them with these two right here. And then um, for the actual sauce, I'm gonna use, so I am gonna use honey mustard and sesame. Um, I found this at Costco actually, this deep, roast, deep roasted sesame dressing and marinade. And I've tasted it already, so I already know the profile and how it's gonna bust down um but i did want to add just a little bit of like not spiciness but you know if you know you know dijon mustard just give it a little bit of uh, you know but a little bit of uh, in it. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I just heard that song if you know you know uh, i got my chicken broth just in case i need to like loosen up my sauce because i don't want to use water because you know water dilutes so we're gonna have that on the side just in case um uh, also gonna decorate with some kisses yeah. with some green onions or scallions and then I have some um, purple onion or red onion to put with my potatoes. So let's get started. We're gonna bust it down. This is gonna be a really quick meal. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, just gonna trust it out. But you don't need a lot. A little goes a long way, okay? Just the Provence. I think you really supposed to say herbs. They're Provence. 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 I don't know. It's supposed to be French. We'll get provisions. I'm weak as fuck. I think it's herbs. They're Provence. Don't quote me, but <laughs> I like Spanish, okay? When I was in school, I don't know about y'all, but when I was in elementary school, did, you, did they give y'all option? I went to a magnet school. So at the magnet elementary school, we had all type of languages, you know. This, you know, the magnet program is supposed to help you, you know, have access to things you wouldn't normally have access to. So, yeah, we got to choose between French and Spanish. I went with Spanish because I felt like it was going to be more useful. Um, Uh-oh. In the rest of my life. So that's what I did. But anyways, it's herbs the province, like we see. <laughs> and I know y'all said my name. She ain't gonna put no salt on it. I'm gonna put a little bit on there, but um, honestly, it's gonna be salt in the chicken and whatnot and on the green beans. So I'm not really that big on like needing a whole lot. Like I be needing salt on my own, but I try to like let everybody pour their own troubles when it comes to salt. Y'all, we had a first. We had our first official event. Oh, yeah. We did a wing plate sale and people actually was rocking with us. So far, the love is real. People showed up. We sold out of the chicken wings. So I sold every chicken wing that I cooked 
Um, what I had made them buffalo, the buff like I don't even eat buffalo sauce like that, but I bust down that buffalo sauce with lemon pepper. Yeah, sweet Thai chili was busting, and then we had occasion ones. I honestly didn't tell as many of the occasion ones as I thought being out here. So that's a note that people do like buffalo wings and lemon pepper. Motherfuckers love lemon pepper wings, boy. Okay. So anywho, potatoes, oven. Um, I preheated it to 375 just because um. I'm gonna let them like cook on like like slowly for about I don't know maybe 30, 40 minutes while this other stuff is cooking and then for the last little bit to like make them crispy I'll put them on boil for like five ten minutes. Listen, I know we need garlic and onion powder go on everything. I don't care what they talking about. I ain't gonna lie, this this little old white man right here or this Hawaiian man. I don't know what he. Is. <laughs> But y'all been seeing stuff pop up lately. I don't know what they did to get their stuff in the store, but they shit blew up in the past couple of years. Like, mm -hmm. you about to get our channel count. I'm with. <laughs> I'm just saying this some good stuff. I mean, y'all, I was to giving them a compliment. This some good seasoning, cause I normally don't even be trying to. See, really, um, I love my people, but but. Just <laughs> stop. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna put some completion. I mean, some complete. Ah! <laughs> Shout out. <the> <laughs> Shout out the Bobcats. I'm Don't fucking weak. <laughs> Shout out the Bobcats. <laughs> All out there in the wild. <laughs> yeah, the China wild. <laughs> As y'all can see, it's plenty season. It smells good. Mm -hmm. it smells great. So yeah, I'm just gonna cook these. Like sear them on each side, get them browned on each side, and then let them cook on low a little bit because I'm putting them in a cast iron. So I be doing part time, y'all. Every other weekend. <laughs> How you work somewhere every other weekend? I'm weak. I would, I would forget that I even gotta go in there. Yep. What kind of scheduling is that? that damn money <laughs> right quick. y'all so while the chicken is in the oven the potatoes about done the green beans are in the air fryer i'm gonna go ahead and bust down some lumpia so i got my apple bananas these are not regular bananas if you can't tell they're a little bit smaller and they definitely are a little bit more tart like they got a little bit more of a tanginess than a regular banana so they're not as sweet you can use regular bananas for lumpia but it, it will definitely have a different taste and regular bananas get more mushy anyway um i got some light brown sugar um, that I added to some, a little bit of white sugar and some cane sugar. Um, these are going to be the dessert that's going to go with us. Uh, I put some cinnamon in here. Um, so I'm going to just show y'all how to make like one. And then if you want the full video, you're going to have to, I'm going to make a separate video. It's a Filipino dish that I learned for, it was one of the first things actually that I learned how to make when I came out here. I used to work at the grocery store. When I first moved out here to Hawaii, I started working at Safeway within the first week because <laughs> I was not playing with me. And um, so I learned a lot from the locals. Um, they taught me, I learned a lot about food because I was watching what they was buying. And I would ask them like, oh, what you going to make it there? And that type of stuff. And they would just, you know, let me know. So lumpia was one of the first things that I tried on accident and I loved it. And I Thank you.